We're having a race for life at the moment. We've got a 5k and a 10k race for life taking part, which raises money for Cancer Research UK. Um, we've obviously got some great activity providers here today. We've got um, the Seventh Day Adventist Church here um, offering smoothies and vegan food. They've had um, some choirs out en route encouraging the ladies round. Um, we've had drumming on stage as well, which is brilliant. Um, and obviously we, we'd, um, we've got some other providers as well doing things like um, bouncy castles, massage, um, yoga sessions, so yeah loads going on for, for all the family. I approached Lisa to um, uh, to ask whether the Seven Adventist Church could uh, participate in the event, to showcase our church, to witness, and also to um, demonstrate uh, plant-based food, vegan food, um, juicing, and so on. So basically, healthy lifestyle. We're doing a whole lot of tasters to be able to include more fruits and vegetables in our diet. I myself am a, a cancer victor uh, nine and a half years ago, but I changed my lifestyle. So including more fruits and vegetables is a much healthier way to go. So what we're doing is a whole lot of tasters to be able to include fruits and vegetables, but in a more interesting way. So we've got juicing and then we've got some raw food um, here as well and some desserts as well. The juicing is going very well. The food. So is the raw so food. Is the raw cuisine. <laughs> In and the smoothie so at the moment it's a win-win situation yes we have seen quite a few people but the race is still on so we are hoping as soon as the race is finished we we'll have more people come. people will be coming yes yes this is uh, one of the um, things we use it's very good for your you know health it's a healthy lifestyle it is uh, you know made of uh, lime spinach we have pineapple then cucumber and the ginger. My involvement in terms of today is being part of the, the organising core team, organising our input and also trying to encourage our young people to actually get involved in today. So we've had the power finders, we've got young people who are there um, distributing leaflets and interacting with members of the public. And today, um, being just overwhelmed by um, the amount of um, people that have actually taken part, you know, in the, in the thousands of people actually, you know, involved in today's event. And it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for us as the Seventh Day Adventist Church just to have an impact and just to share what we believe, you know, through the health message. And you know, it's been a great opportunity today. Um, we've been drumming. We have um, a small but dedicated uh, club. We started off with quite a large club, but the, as they got older, we've diminished, so we've got a small group now, but they're very enthusiastic and they were very nervous this morning, but they enjoyed it. And we, we've performed twice already and we're going to perform again um, later. As Christians, we have a responsibility to outreach to the community, not only spread, uh, spread in the word of the Lord, but also sort of demonstrating practical Christianity by helping people, um, giving them sort of sound advice for health. And this is what this is. It's an opportunity to tell people about how to live uh, healthfully uh, and also, ha also have a bit of fun um, yes. doing it as well. Yes, we've taken day off. We've come here to support in every way we can. From last um, three, four months we've been planning this out, meetings after meetings to make sure everything is in place. And plus we have put, um, what you call, last two days we've been just cutting and chopping and keeping all the fruits and veg washed and ready to go. We slept at 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning and we got up at 4 to get it ready and we're still going. And the weather is lovely, God is good. What's next? I think it's about really just trying to sort of sustain that. So obviously we've been able to signpost um, people um, to our health hub. So we have a health hub which is at a local primary school, which is every every Sunday we operate an exercise class. Then once a month we have um, cookery classes. So we're, we're hopeful that um, individuals that come to the health outreach will want to find out more and will actually come to those um, you know those sessions. We also hope that we're, we're planning a, a campaign at the end of the year. So as a result of building up contacts 
um, from people who've come today that we'd be able to invite them to, um, to invite them to the campaign but it won't be like a cold call. They would have, they would have heard of the Seventh-day Adventist Church because they would have seen us in, in July, the 3rd of July at the, at the Downs, Bristol. So therefore, it's, a, it's an ongoing process and it's more intentional as well. So this is evangelism everyone? Yes, everyone, everywhere, everywhere yes. Uh